She is still in shock over what happened to the house she and her husband were constructing. This is Namukolo Mulonda of Lusaka's Makeni area, whose house has allegedly been demolished by the area councillor Brighton Bilumba in the company of some patriotic front PF cadres. The incident which happened two days ago has left this woman and her family stuck with no hope of rebuilding the house. According to Mrs. Mulonda, this plot was sold to her husband by the owner of this private school. She says her husband obtained the land legally and has title deeds. He plot in my papers. My papers are near and in my manja. I think my own. I have my paper and my paper and my paper and my paper and my Land Japan, I mean. You don't say anything, my paper. You don't buy no in my papers. I am a paper, you don't say. You don't buy. When I boil a by MP, by cancellor. When I boil a by cancellor, now my car does bad. When the mob we call you, when I boil a now my man tava me give me money. Pay when I fika, when I fiki la chabe. Why? Why move well on many of you twice in a phone and got wins of nine or plot twice in a phone? Put me in a plot, I'll put it a ramsana. All she wants is justice to prevail and is calling on the area member of parliament, Elizabeth Peary, to help her out. Quanya, you buy and I was in that eight room, Yamenamon. Nisha cool, la you buy a cool at Funo Icana, Langa, and Malada. Continue by sea. Babola, Quanya, you buy on say, Amenamu or Nella so. Drama is it in a zivut killer? Put it in gulay ploti, tinai foot killer ploti. But another killer, Mamna and drama gulay ploti, and then you are cancel, lava boil of a puanya, Mamela on and get us so. Mamela on and get a Mamela still a please, but President Nat Mulik, or Nifuna Tandizoyan, my MP, Mubuele, Nifuna cancel a one Mukal and I fancy, and you was away. So, I never and drama. so so president Shortly after interview, Mrs. Mulonda, three cutters came on the scene and started harassing this reporter and the camera person, Obvious Kapunda, was told to delete the footage. One of them, who claimed to be the area youth chairperson called Mokadas, who came with a bus, an indication that the cutters were tipped off by someone the moment the movie TV news group arrived in the area. This reporter was slapped by one of them. <laughs> That's why I'm not prepared. We did it. 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 We that's why you 
Don't do anything, man. Five, 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 Okay, his vehicle, a few meters away from the scene, who later agreed to talk to Movie TV News crew. This is one of the infrastructure that they want to develop. As you can see, it's a, a road that has been reserved and it has been googled that RDA should come and work on it for the, for the benefit of all everyone around here. Now, when we see people who comes and wants to build other infrastructure on a road reserve, it becomes unfortunate for us. And uh, truly, we've heard a lot of things from this side. And so what I've done as the area councillor is I've requested the Lusaka City Council and imagine on a holiday like today they are coming and this is why I'm waiting for them so that they come and uh, issue notices to those who are developing this place which is lying on the road reserve. And as and when uh, they give us a statement and the truth of the matter, we'll be able to make a decision by them. Mr. Bilomba says he is engaging the local authority over the issue. One wonders how Mr. Bilomba is engaging the local authority after demolishing the structure. Nelly Nafukwe, Movie TV News, Lusaka.